this all kind of surrounds Mark Meadows, the chief of staff to the president of the United States, right? He's, he's the gatekeeper. He's the person who's supposed to make sure that bad people don't get into the meetings, that Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell don't come in with half-baked ideas that, you know, Bill Stepien and Justin Clark and Pat Cipollone are listened to. And, um, you know, it kind of all comes down to, you know, Mark Meadows is not a good gatekeeper, is, uh, you know, not helping the president make good decisions. Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, he's going to be facing the most legal jeopardy in, 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 out of this whole thing. I'm not, you know, uh, obviously a prosecutor here, but it seems to me he's facing problems in Georgia, on the federal front, lo lots of different areas. And he's the chief of staff. If they can't get the president of the United States, which they're not going to get, they're going to get somebody pretty high up. And I would be you know, shocked if they weren't you know, gunning for Mark Meadows, the Department of Justice and state of Georgia at this point. But what do you say to a viewer who might hear that and say, you know, it sounds like you're putting all the blame on Mark Meadows and you're absolving Trump. Doesn't Trump take the blame here? He put Mark Meadows in that role as well. What do you say? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not absolving. Listen, I'm not absolving the president or b blaming Mark Meadows. I'm just this is a I'm making more of a, you know, a realistic statement of fact. The president is not going to end up going down on this here. I mean, it just I, it, they, they just withdrew the subpoenas. Um, yeah, today, well, the committee um, they did, a bunch not of subpoenas, all the outstanding right. subpoenas. Yeah, the, the, the committee did, right? Not DOJ, but they withdrew the, 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 all the outstanding subpoenas. I, I just don't think, you know, proving criminal culpability is, is, is a much tougher thing than proving, you know, that somebody or suggesting that somebody did something morally reprehensible. Um, and there's a big difference between those two. And, and I think what, you know, the Department of Justice is going to try to do is get convictions. They're not going to be able to do that with the president. They're going to be able to do it with other people. So really quick, John, do you agree with that? I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that an overwhelming case, proof beyond a reasonable doubt, is out there against Trump. It's really going to be a question of, do we prosecute a former president, uh, not whether we can and have it have it nailed, which I think they do. And they're, they're blowing away all the privileges that are appearing in, in this report, uh, people like Cipollone and, and others who now have had to testify in front of the grand jury. Different game in front of the grand jury. All right, Sarah Murray, John Dean, David Urban, great to have you on. Thank you.